Hello, this is Analytical Chick. We're coming at you with another article. All right, before we do that, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Surprisingly, it's on very fake news, but it's interesting. Very fake news did an article about the Italian police throwing the Muslims were throwing Christians overboard. Now, you really know that fake news would not lie about something like this. So this is actually true. So, and uh, it was the Italian police from Palermo, Sicily, Italy, who said that the Muslims threw Christians overboard. 11,000 migrants in like, I don't know, the last whatever, when this came out. This came out a few weeks ago, Sunday, April 19th. Right. Um, so Muslims who were trying, who were among migrants trying to get from Libya to Italy in a boat this week threw 12 passengers overboard and killing them. They were Christians. That's why they threw them over. You know, I mean, this just goes to show everything we've been trying to say. They're, they're like African throwing over African Christians, but we're going to bring them here and somehow they're going to like white Christians and not try to kill us, but they'll try to kill Christians the same color of skin as themselves. How come this doesn't make sense to me? Oh wait, because it doesn't make sense. All right. Italian authorities have arrested 15 people on suspicion of murdering the Christians at sea. Police in Palermo, Italy, Sicily, Italy said. There's a whole nother article here on why migrants are dying to get to Italy. I don't know. Maybe Gibbs handouts because they kill each other. So they want to get away from themselves. The original group of 105 people left Libya on Tuesday in a rubber boat. I can't even. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sometime during the trip north across the Mediterranean Sea, the alleged assailants, Muslims from the Ivory Coast, Mali and Senegal, threw 12 overboard, the police said. Other people in the voyage told police that they themselves were spared because they strongly opposed the drowning attempt and formed the human chain. Why do we want to bring this stuff in to the Western world again? Somebody remind me, because it makes us feel good about ourselves. Well, not me, but the left. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with people. Anybody who wants to bring this into, you know, the Western world has a screw loose and needs to have their head examined. This is even, even fake news is reporting this. You get, you dig, you dig, you dig. Anyway, the boat was intercepted by... An Italian Navy vessel which transferred the passengers to a Panamanian flagship, the Netflix ship. Oh, God. Good. Ugh. So, I guess the, sh the boat was intercepted and then, like, you know, it was this little rubber boat. And instead of sending it back, they, oh, oh, sure, sure, let's help you. Let's put you on a Navy vessel. What? No! No! Send them back! Send them back! The 12 who died were from Nigeria and Ghana, police said. Thousands of people each year make the dangerous sea journey from North Africa to Europe Europe's Mediterranean coast, often aboard vessels poorly equipped for the trip. Many of them attempt the voyage to flee war and poverty in Africa and, Mi and the Middle East. See my video about Malthusian limits and Africa and the Middle East and other shithole countries. More than 10,000 people have arrived on Italian shores from Libya since last weekend alone. This was like a month ago, but basically in like a week, over 10,000 people come, according to the Italian Coast Guard, because I'm sure this is like a trend. Does that make you sick to your stomach? Because that makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. 
Let's get going. All right, many die each year while attempting the voyage, often when boats capsized. I don't care. Last year, at least 3,200 died. Good! Trying to make the trip. Good! It's their own fault for trying to make the trip, for trying to break into Europe. Since 2000, according to the International Organization for, Oh, good God, another one of these freaking NGOs. Almost 22,000 people have died fleeing across the Mediterranean. It's not enough. The ICM reported Thursday the latest boat to sink in trying to make the journey. Only four people survived. I don't care from the original 45 on board. I don't care. I think that's good, good, good. Good! Only four people survived. Good! Good! I am sick and tired of the West being told that we have to sacrifice and scrap. If people want to give their money to charities, that's on them. But they're using all these tax dollars for this? No! No, 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 no! Tax dollars from any Western country? No! Tax dollars are for roads and things that everybody uses. Tax dollars aren't for propping up people who are coming to kill us. No, no, no. Tax dollars are for providing for the common defense. No, no, no to this. Am I worked up? Just a little. I don't know. Maybe. Bringing the estimated death toll. So far this year, close to a thousand. I don't care. Not high enough. So, yeah, this was on CNN. Fake news even reported this. So, you know, it's bad when fake news is actually, you know, fake news is not going to, like, lie to this. And they're going to, like, if anything, they're going to make it, they're going to, like, emotionally blackmail you to feel sorry. Well, it sounds like they're trying to in this article, trying to make people, you know, emotionally blackmailed and feel sorry for the migrants, but... I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe the left is happy if Christians are being thrown overboard, but yeah, I'm not a Christian. Everybody who watches my channel knows I'm Jewish, but I definitely, I definitely would take the side of the Christians because I don't know, maybe they're less likely to kill me. Just a thought. Just a thought, I say. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check me out on other social media sites. A uh, bit shoot I actually didn't mention in there. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I will see you all next time.